words can do no justice to the beauty, bravery and sanctity of womanhood, so I'm not even going to try. Let it suffice to say that women make the world go round. Okay, maybe I'm pushing it too far. Women make the world go round with the help of men. So thank you guys. Anyway, the 8th of March is celebrated as International Women's Day and Nigerian entertainers were not left out of the celebrations this year as the cast and crew of 2015's biggest Nollywood film, 50, hosted a special screening of the flick. Let's show you how that went down. Once again, the stars of the big budget Nigerian movie, 50, step out. And on this occasion, it is to celebrate the International Women's Day. Joining in the celebration is sensational street hawker turned model, Olajumoke Obishaguno, who now enjoys a celebrity status. The movie 50 chronicles the plights and challenges of the lead female characters as they turn the golden age of 50. The executive producer, Moabudu, believes the story of 50 will inspire other women to greatness. It's very important, I think, in our society today to show women that it can be done. And I think I'm really pleased that God has given me the opportunity to be a role model and to be out there showing that it can be done. Omoni Oboli and Iwetiola Doyle played Maria and Elizabeth, respectively, in the movie. Doyle, whose character played a connector between all other female leads in the film, believes African women shouldn't be stereotyped. Of course it's wrong. Uh, examples abound of women, contemporary African women, contemporary Nigerian women who have broken the glass ceiling. Again, this is where I break from the crowd. Uh, if you have a stereotype, if you have stereotyped me, that's to your disadvantage. It just simply means that I'm going to continue to shock you as I continue to do different and greater things. So um, I won't be too bothered that we've been stereotyped. There are enough examples, enough people exist to show that these stereotypes are not true. If you call me one more time, I'm going to change my number. I've booked an appointment one of Harley Street's best. I am giving these beauties some TLC. What do you think? Gender is the least of all worries for Oboli, whose character struggles to find love in the movie. That is impossible, Lizzie. I'm, I'm 50. So, to someone with a nice waiting call and a healthy sperm count has been servicing you, you naughty, naughty girl. I can take you there tomorrow. Lizzie doesn't have to know. I don't do little boys. I, I never really consider gender when I'm doing things that I'm doing. The only thing I know is, as a woman, I have probably have to work twice as hard as a man would to prove myself. But for me, it's nothing. I, I've, I've got to do what I've got to do, and I just plunge ahead, and I do it. And I don't care if you're a man or if you're a woman or whatever. If you have to do something, you have to do it. You have to go ahead and just do it. That's what I do. I think the society as a whole has to come to the realization that, you know what? Gender doesn't mean anything. Who is the best man for the job? Let the best man do the job. It doesn't matter if you're a man or if you're a woman. Let the best person, excuse me, do the job. Actor and broadcaster Kachi Notary plays Chike, a man who depends on his wife for a means of livelihood. Do you sometimes feel embarrassed when you hear some of his stories of how men um, treat women? Oh, definitely. I mean, uh, there shouldn't be a divide, you know, between a woman and a man. Uh, women have equal rights as well, you know, and I, I don't, I think it's only a sick man that would lay a hand on a woman and, you know, abduct women. I mean, we're in the season, so to speak, where we hear of the different abductions. I mean, there was the SRU story, and then there were the three other girls from Babington Macaulay uh, Seminary, and then, I mean, we've just been hearing different stories about girls being abducted. I think it's sick, you know. There shouldn't be a divide between a man and a woman. They're equals, all right? Women are leaders. Women are taking... Uh, prominent positions in the society, so there really shouldn't be a divide, you know. So I, it worries me, yeah. The movie 50 turned out to be the biggest box office movie for the year 2015, raking in over 70 million naira. The lead cast of the movie, however, believes the society isn't paying enough attention to the challenges of women. No, we're not. And that's the truth. We're not. We, I mean, we've, we've come a long way, in all honesty. It's better than it used to be in my mother's time right? But we still have a long way to go. No, society doesn't pay enough attention to several issues, not just the ones highlighted in uh, the movie. Society has failed itself. 
were on the path of rejuvenation, regeneration and restoration. If you call me one more time, I'm going to change my number. I've booked an appointment one of Harley Street's best. I am giving these beauties some TLC. What do you think? <laughs> that is impossible, Lizzie. I'm, I'm 50. So? So someone with a nice waiting call and a healthy sperm count has been servicing you, you naughty, naughty girl. I can take you there tomorrow. Lizzie doesn't have to know. I don't do little boys. What kind of party planner are you? Your behavior is just totally unacceptable. Highly unprofessional. They're calling you neurotic. A drama queen. I want items that scream class. How many times must I say it? Money is not my problem, but how to spend it. Pray like you came here for a miracle. Why is God unhappy with me? Why has he cursed me? Don't leave me, please, Kate. I'm going to be hitting the big 5-0, and with you, the viewers, I'm going to be marking it with style. How many of your get rich quick schemes have to fill before you wake up, Chiki? How many? You will respect me, young lady. I am your mother. Just go home. What home? Home to your wife. 50 is the new 25. What a load of rubbish. Sort out your life, Lizzie. Man is nothing but a beast. I ought to get someone to slit his throat. <laughs> <laughs>